Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today the Cubs are going to kick off a six-game road trip with three games in sunny southern Florida against the Miami Marlins and three more games against the second-place Cincinnati Reds. The Cubs lineup today is going to include Tariq Skubal on the mound. He's making his 37th appearance of the season with a 6-5 record. He has a 3.16 ERA and a 0.97 whip. Cubs lineup today going to look a little bit different as Danny Santana will be over at first. So with the Cubs trying to give a couple guys days off again today, we have a lineup that will include Grisham, followed by Correa, Harper, Bryant, Santana, Soler, Estrada, Amaya, and Scubal batting ninth. For the Marlins, Caleb Smith will be on the mound. We have lefty versus lefty in this pitching matchup today. Caleb Smith making his 23rd start. He has a 4-5 and five record with a 3.15 ERA and a 124 whip. The Marlins lineup will include Brigman, Tapia, Anderson, Harrison, Aguiar, Rojas, Ramirez, McCann, and Smith batting ninth. It is raining here in... Miami today as we have the remnants of a hurricane blowing through and the roof is closed for this crowd of approximately 16,000 that are attending today's game. The Marlins starter is on the mound and we are ready to get play underway today. The Cubs coming in first place in the central 19 games up on the Cincinnati Reds. With Grisham standing in at the plate, Caleb Smith standing on the mound and looking in for the sign. Here comes the delivery. And Grisham lines it down the left field line. That's going to be extra bases. Heading around first for second. That is going to be a leadoff double for Trent Grisham into the left field corner. Hard hit ball. Basically a rocket out there into the left field corner for Grisham. And that brings up Carlos Correa. Runner on second, nobody out. Top of the first inning still. Two and two is the count. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. That's going to be out number one. Correa chases the high fastball. And Caleb Smith gets his first strike out of the day. Bryce Harper now the batter with one out and a runner in scoring position. Cubs trying to break through in the first inning. Full count pitch inside for ball four. So Bryce Harper drawing the walk. And that is going to give the Cubs first and second with one out as Chris Bryant steps up to the plate. Two men on. Scoreless ball game here in the top of the first inning. Two balls is the count to Bryant, and he grounds it up the middle. Second baseman has it, stepping on the base and throwing to first to complete the double play. That is going to end the inning, and the Cubs do not score. They strand two. We go to the bottom of the first of a 0-0 ball game. Brigman leading off against Scubal. Two and one is the count. Tariq looking in for the sign. And here is the pitch. The Marlins leadoff man lined into left field. There is a base hit. That's going all the way out to the wall as well. Basically the same place where Grisham's hit went and the same result, a leadoff double for the Marlins here in the bottom of the first inning. Tapia now the batter. Runner on second. Nobody out. Full count pitch. Scooball with the delivery. Swing and a miss for strike three. Tapia goes down swinging. That was a changeup. He was way out in front of that one. So Scooball gets his first strike out of the game. Anderson now the batter. One out, one man on. One ball is the count to Brian Anderson. And he pops it up. Short right field going out to Santana. He makes the play, and that is out number two. Harrison now the batter with two outs. The runner still on second. Scooball working with a 1-1 one -one count. And it's grounded toward third. And it gets by Bryant into left field. The throw, however, comes home. And a strong throw. Oh, and it gets away from the catcher. Were there two errors on that play? The ball looked like it got under Bryant's glove. And then Solaire's throw home was plenty on time. But it got by Amaya. And so the Marlins score the run taking the one nothing lead here in the bottom of the first inning. So they're saying that they're crediting him with a base hit 
and an RBI. So Harrison gets his 43rd RBI of the season. And then the run scores on the error. So it is 1-0 Miami here in the bottom of the first inning. 1-2 and two is the count. Scooball working. And strike three is called to end the inning. So the Marlins score. They strand one. We're going to the top of the second of a 1-0 Miami lead. Santana leading off against Smith here in the top of the second inning. 2-2 two and two is the count. Caleb Smith with the delivery. It's a swing and a miss. It gets away from the catcher. It rolls all the way to the backstop. Santana heading to first. Oh, and he's out by half a step. Santana hustling down the line. Almost beat that out. Soler now the batter. One out, nobody on. Soler has an error to atone for here. Let's see if he can make up for it. Two and two is the count. And Soler swings and misses at a changeup for strike three. Caleb Smith with his third strike out of the ball game, and it brings up Thyro Estrada. Estrada's in the game, giving Nico Horner a day off at second. Two outs and nobody on. 2-2 two, two is the count to Estrada. Caleb Smith with the delivery. Popped up on the infield. Shortstop calling for it. He makes the play, and the inning is over. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the bottom of the second of a 1-0 ball game. Rojas facing Scooball here in the bottom of the second. Two strikes is the count. And Scooball hits him right in the shoulder. Man, that had to hurt. That is going to be a leadoff hit by pitch, putting the runner on first with nobody out. Ramirez now the batter. One and two is the count. Here comes the delivery. Grounded toward short, charging his career. The throw to second, the relay to first. That is a 6-4-3 double play. Correa to Estrada to Santana. Not exactly the Cubs' usual infield alignment, but making it work today. McCann now the batter with two outs, nobody on. Scooball working with a one and two count. He's had a two strike count on every batter this inning. And a swing and a miss to end the inning. So Scooball gets the punch out. The Marlins do not score. We're going to the top of the third of a one nothing ball game. Amaya facing Smith, one and two is the count. Here is the delivery. Amaya checks his swing, but strike three is called. That's four strikeouts for Caleb Smith today. Tariq Scooball now the batter. Scooball is three for 15 with three RBIs on the season. Two strikes is the count. And Scooball swings and misses. He chases a fastball at 95 that was way up high. That's out number two. Smith now facing Grisham with two outs, nobody on. Two strikes is the count. Here comes the delivery. Checked his swing. Nope, strike three is called. And Caleb Smith just struck out the side. We're going now to the bottom of the third of a one nothing Miami lead. Caleb Smith now leading off against Scooball. Bottom of the third, one and two is the count. Swing and a miss for strike three. Scooball's trying to keep up with him. That's strikeout number four on the day. And now Scooball facing Brigman with a 1-1 one, one count. One out, nobody on base. Grounded toward third, charging. Oh, and Bryant kicks that one. He is going to be credited with an error on that play. That was a easy ground out that Bryant just had it bounce off his glove so one out and a runner on first Scooball cannot believe it he's facing Tapia now already down by one one ball is the count here comes the delivery popped up foul territory Bryant chasing in front of the dugout he makes the play that's out number two Anderson now the batter with two outs and the runner still on first Scooball working with a 1-1 one -one count Lined into right field. That's going to drive in a run all the way down into the corner. Chasing is Harper. He gets it back into the infield. A double is going to make this a 2-0 ball game here in the bottom of the third inning. And the unearned runs continue to pile up for the Marlins. 2-0 now is the lead. Harrison is the batter. Two outs, runner on second. Scooball working. Here comes the delivery. Grounded towards second. Estrada has it. He throws to first, and the inning is over. But not before the Marlins capitalize on another Cub error. We're going to the top of the fourth of a 2-0 Miami lead. Carlos Correa is going to lead off against Caleb Smith here in the top of the fourth inning. 2-2 two two is the count. Smith delivers. Strike three called at the knees. That was a changeup and just froze Correa with that pitch. Strikeout number seven on the day for Caleb Smith. One out and nobody on. Harper batting. Two and two is the count. And he grounds it toward first. The first baseman picks it. He steps on the base and that is out number two. Chris Bryant now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Smith 
with a two ball count. Here comes the pitch to Bryant. And he lines it into center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Bryant hits it over the shift into short center field for a two out single. And now Danny Santana is the batter. Bryant standing on first. Santana representing the tying run. Two outs in the top of the fourth inning. Here comes the pitch, and Santana lines in into right field. There's another base hit. Bryant rounding second, but he stops. So the Cubs with back-to-back -back singles here in the top of the fourth, now threatening with Jorge Soler. So Bryant on second, Santana's on first. Soler is the batter here in the top of the fourth. Soler facing Smith. He is over one today. Here comes the one and two pitch, and Soler watches strike three go by on the outside corner. So the threat is over. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's still 2-0 in favor of the Marlins. Scubal facing Aguiar to lead off the bottom of the fourth inning. 2-1 Two and one is the count. Scubal delivers. Grounded toward third. Bryant fields this one cleanly. He throws to first. Nearly threw it away. Santana picks it off his shoelaces for the first out of the inning. Rojas now facing Scubal with one out nobody on. Here comes the delivery. Grounded toward third, Bryant charges, he throws over to first, and again, Santana, very fortunate that he's a tall guy, that's out number two. Ramirez the batter, two outs and nobody on. Scubal working, here comes the pitch to Ramirez, and it's popped up, left center field, chasing is Grisham, he gets under and he makes the play, and that is going to end the inning. The Marlins go down in order, we go to the top of the fifth, 2 nothing in favor of Miami. Estrada facing Smith here in the top of the fifth inning. Three balls is the count. Estrada waiting for the pitch. Outside for ball four. Thyra Estrada drawing the four-pitch walk to lead off the inning. Now Miguel Amaya is the batter. And McCann behind the plate is a pretty good defensive catcher and has a very strong arm. So I don't know if we're going to get a chance to steal here. Caleb Smith's actually above average holding runners. Let's just see what presents itself in this at bat here comes the pitch Amaya he takes a change up for strike one Smith now delivering one strike is the count that is going to be low for ball one that was the fastball Amaya now waiting for the one and one pitch there's the pitch out they thought he was going to go there two and one is the count now it's time to steal second let's see if we can make this happen there's the pitch. Oh, and Estrada thinks of it, thinks better of it, and heads back to the base. 2-2 is the count now. So Amaya swinging and missing for strike three. That was a slider down, and he chased it. So first out of the inning. Scooball now the batter. We're going to try to bunt the runner over to second. And Tariq Scooball lays down the bunt. He throws to first, and the pitcher records the put out that is going to be one four on the put out as the sacrifice advances Estrada to second now with two outs and a runner in scoring position Trent Grisham is the batter he is one for two with a double in today's ball game Smith with a one one pitch and there's a drive into the gap in left center field I think that one might leave the ballpark Trent Grisham is going to tie this ball game up with a home run here in the top of the fifth inning. That is home run number 12, I believe, for Trent Grisham. A two-run home run, 425 feet over the left center field wall. And now, oh, excuse me, that's home run number 15 for Grisham. 56 RBIs on the season for him. Carlos Correa now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Smith working to Correa with a full count. And that is outside for ball four. So Correa drawing the walk brings up Bryce Harper with two outs and the runner on first. Cubs trying to continue this rally here in the top of the fifth inning. Three balls is the count. And Caleb Smith has suddenly lost control of the strike zone. He has just walked two straight batters. Harper was walked on four straight pitches. And now Chris Bryant comes up. He also has an error to atone for today. Let's see what he can do with two outs, two men on, and a tie ball game in the top of the fifth inning. Smith facing Bryant. Three balls is the count. Here comes the delivery. Up and in for ball four. So the bases are loaded as Bryant doesn't even take the bat off his shoulder. Smith has now walked five men in this game. 
Danny Santana is the next batter for the Cubs with two outs and the bags loaded. Top of the fifth of a tie ball game. Smith delivering the three and one pitch. Here it comes, inside for ball four. The run is walked in and the Cubs now have a 3-2 lead. This has been an amazing inning. The Marlins starter, Caleb Smith, who is still in the ball game, has just walked three straight batters. Jorge Soler now comes up with the Cubs up by one. There are still two outs. The bases are still loaded. Smith, with 95 pitches, working on a full count delivery. That's outside. Soler draws the walk. The Cubs' patience has been astonishing in this inning. There's now been two runs walked in, and the Cubs have a 4-2 lead. And now, now Don Mattingly has decided that it is time, in fact, for a relief pitcher. And Jandel Gustave has come out of the Marlins bullpen. He is making his first appearance this season for the Miami Marlins. He is going to face Thyro Estrada with two outs and the bases loaded in the top of the fifth inning. Four runs are already in. Two and two is the count. Estrada waits for the pitch. And he swings and misses for strike three. So the Cubs leave the bases loaded. They score four times, taking a two-run lead into the bottom of the fifth inning. Scooball facing the eight, nine, and one batters in the Marlins lineup here in the top, bottom of the fifth inning. Scooball working against McCann. First pitch to McCann, here's the delivery. Popped up, short center field, chasing. Coming in is Trent Grisham. He looks up and makes the catch, that is out number one. Dickerson now the batter, one out, nobody on. Scooball working to Corey Dickerson who came in on a double switch in the last half inning. Two strikes is the count as Scooball delivers. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a fastball up. And Scooball just blasted it by him at 97. So now Brigman is batting with two outs and nobody on. Scooball works. One ball is the count. Here's the pitch to Brigman. Line past the first baseman into right field. Harper has it. He gets it back into the cutoff, man, as Brigman stops at first with a single. Tapia now the batter. Two outs. Runner on first. Scooball working. One and two is the count. And that is going to be high. The throw goes down to second. And the runner is safe. So Brigman now has three stolen bases on the season. Tapia waiting for the 2-2 pitch. Scooball delivering. There's a liner in the center field. Grisham lines it up and he makes the play to end the inning. So the Marlins strand a runner. We go to the top of the sixth of a 4-2 ball game. Amaya facing Gustav here in the top of the sixth inning. Are we going to pinch hit for Scooball? He's thrown 70 pitches. He's been effective. I mean, he's allowed two runs, one earned, struck out five, no walks. I feel like we can get a couple more innings out of him. Amaya is going to lead off against Gustav here in the top of the sixth. Amaya waiting for the first pitch, and he's going to drive that one in the gap in left center field. The play is going to be made on a hop as the center fielder gets it back. Oh, and Amaya racing around the bases gets into second with a sliding double top of the sixth inning so now scooball is going to be asked to lay down the sacrifice here comes the pitch he lays down the bunt right side of the pitcher's mound pitcher has it. he throws to third and they get miguel amaya on the tag play at third so that is going to be the first out of the inning the cubs now have one out and a runner on first trent grisham now is the batter he is two for three with a home run in today's ball game. Gustav facing Grisham with a one ball count. Here comes the delivery. Grisham drives it straight away center field deep toward the warning track. The center fielder making the play. That is going to be the second out of the inning. It's really too bad we didn't have a runner on third because he would have easily tagged up and scored right there. Carlos Correa now the batter with two outs and a runner on first. Gustav facing Correa. Here comes the pitch. Driven in the right field. The right fielder gets under it and makes the play to end the inning. So the Cubs strand a runner. We go to the bottom of the sixth of a 4-2 ball game. Anderson facing Scooball to lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. One strike is the count. Scooball delivers the pitch. And a liner up the middle. That's a base hit. So a leadoff single for Brian Anderson. 
And the Marlins have a runner on base with Monte Harrison, the next batter. Runner on first, nobody out. Cubs up by two. Scooball with a one and two pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Harrison chases the fastball. It's low and in. That's out number one. Scooball now with six strikeouts on the day. And Aguiar is the batter. One out, one man on. Scooball looking for the sign. There's the pitch. Popped up to center field. Grisham has plenty of time. He gets under it, and he makes the play for out number two. Rojas now the batter. Two outs, one man on. Scooball working with a one-strike count. And a grounder back toward the mound. Scooball has it. He throws to first, and the inning is over. So the Marlins strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the seventh of a 4-2 ball game. Bryce Harper is going to face the new Marlin reliever, Luis Avalon, out of the bullpen. Avalon is 0 for 2 with 42 and a third innings, 10 walks, 38 strikeouts, and a 4.04 ERA. Harper 0 for 1 today, leading off the top of the seventh inning for the Cubs. 1 and 2 is the count. Harper waiting for the pitch. And he swings and misses for strike three. That was a fastball up, and Harper. Struck out swinging for the first out of the inning. Chris Bryant now the batter. He's one for two today. Facing Avalon. One out. One and two is the count. Here comes the pitch to Bryant. And he strikes out looking. That was a changeup at the knees. And Bryant strikes out for the second out of the inning. Santana now batting with two outs and nobody on. We are going to warm up a reliever right here. Scooball's at 79 pitches. We're going to the bottom of the seventh, which means that this is going to be a Ryan Presley situation where we would use him in relief if we needed to. Avalon facing Santana. Two outs, nobody on. Here comes the pitch. And a grounder up the middle. Second baseman has it on a big hop. The throw goes to first, and the inning is over. So the... Cubs go down in order. We are going down to the bottom of the seventh of a 4-2 Cub lead. Scooball out on the mound facing Jose Devers for the Marlins. He is pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Scooball working. One ball is the count. Here is the pitch to Devers. And it's a grounder past the first baseman into the right field corner. Chasing is Harper. He has it. The throw goes back into the cutoff man. This is going to be a leadoff triple for the Marlins here in the top of the seventh inning. And Ryan Presley is still warming up. McCann is the batter. We're going to visit the mound. Scooball says I'm not tired. He's going to face McCann and then Dickerson and then the top of the lineup. So we're going to see, you know, if it hadn't been a leadoff triple, I might have been more inclined to leave Scooball out here. But I think this is going to be the time where we're going to swap him out and bring in Presley to pitch in the seventh inning. So, Ryan Presley is going to enter the game. He comes in with a 5-6 and six record, 42 and two-thirds innings thrown, 19 walks, 54 strikeouts, and a 3.38 ERA. Presley facing McCann with a runner on third, nobody out in the bottom of the seventh inning. Presley with a two strike count looking for the sign and delivering the pitch and there's a swing and a miss for strike three so that's the first out of the inning Corey Dickerson now the batter one out one man on Presley working full count here comes the pitch outside oh no strike three is called oh man so Dickerson is not happy about that he thought it was outside he was halfway down to first and the umpire rung him up so now, Diaz comes up to the plate. He is pinch hitting for the leadoff hitter. He comes up against Presley with two outs and the runner still on third. Two and two is the count. Presley with the delivery. Swing and a miss for strike three. So Presley strikes out the side to get out of the seventh inning. We go to the top of the eighth of a 4-2 ball game. And so now... We are going to warm up Edwin Diaz to pitch to the middle of the Marlins lineup in the bottom of the eighth inning. Solaire is going to face Ryan Stanek 
here in the top of the eighth, leading off of the Cubs. Stanek has a three and six record, 42 and two thirds innings, 12 walks, 36 strikeouts, and a 506 ERA. Solaire facing Stanek, top of the eighth. 2-2 two -two is the count. Stanek looking for the sign, and here's the delivery. And Solaire swings and misses for strike three. That's out number one. Stanek now facing Estrada with one out, nobody on. Estrada waiting for the 1-1 pitch. Here it comes. And a liner over the third baseman's head in the left field. That is going to be a one-out single for Thyra Estrada. That'll bring up Miguel Amaya. Amaya facing Stanek with a runner on first, one out. Here in the top of the eighth. And this seems like this is going to be the moment where we are going to pinch hit with Anthony Rizzo. Because when Rizzo is on the bench... He is the first man off the bench. Rizzo will face Stanek with one out runner on first and the Cubs trying to get some insurance runs here in the top of the eighth inning. Rizzo with a 318 batting average, 15 home runs and 75 RBIs on the season. One and one is the count. Rizzo waiting for the pitch from Stanek and there's a grounder up the middle. Charging is the shortstop. He steps on second and relays to first and that is a inning ending double play so the Cubs do not score we go to the bottom of the eighth of a 4-2 ball game so Rizzo is not going to stay in the game Diaz is going to come in he is going to pitch Buster Posey is going to come in he will catch and lead off the ninth inning and Malik Smith will be brought in as a defensive replacement for Jorge Soler in left field. Now, Diaz on the mound facing Tapia here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Cubs up by two. Diaz working, full count. He is looking for the sign, and here is the delivery. And that is high for ball four, so Diaz issues the leadoff walk. Brian Anderson now the batter. Runner on first, nobody out. One and one is the count. Diaz delivers the pitch. Grounded towards second. The throw goes to short. No relay to first, however, as the double play is broken up. And now there's one out and a runner on first. And Brian Miller is going to pinch hit for the Marlins here in the bottom of the eighth inning. With the runner on first, Marlins down by two. Diaz working. Here's the first pitch to Miller. It's a grounder towards short. The throw goes to second. Again, there's no relay to first as the double play is broken up with a hard slide. Two plays in a row. And Estrada is really taking it there, out there at second base. So Diaz facing Aguiar with two outs and the runner on first in the bottom of the eighth inning. Diaz working. Here's the first pitch. And it's a wild pitch. It gets away. Going all the way to the backstop. Posey chases it down. The runner advances to second. Aguiar now facing Diaz with two outs in the runner's scoring position. Bottom of the eighth inning. Diaz working. Here's the pitch. Ground in front of the plate. Posey has it. He throws to first, and the inning is over. So the Marlins strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the ninth of a 4-2 ball game. And now we're going to warm up Junior Fernandez to pitch in the bottom of the ninth inning. So, Posey facing Stanek here in the top of the ninth. Posey leading off for the Cubs. One and two is the count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Posey goes down swinging. And now Grisham the batter. One out, nobody on. Stanek working. Here's the pitch to Grisham. And a drive into center field. Chasing is Monte Harrison with a diving play. And he makes the catch. So, the Marlins center fielder. With an athletic play. Oh, that was Brian Miller, excuse me. With the, and he injured his hand. The trainer's checking him out, but he's going to stay in the ballgame. So he came in as a defensive replacement for the Marlins. Carlos Correa now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Stanek working. Here's the pitch to Correa. And a liner right at the third baseman. That is going to end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. They're retired in order. We go to the bottom of the ninth of a 4-2 ballgame. Edwin Diaz facing Miguel Rojas here in the bottom of the ninth. So Diaz has thrown 12 pitches. He's going to have a chance to close this one out. Full count. Diaz looking for the sign. Here's the delivery. 
Swing and a miss for strike three. That was a fastball at 98. They blazed right by him. Alfaro now the batter, pinch hitting for the number seven spot. Jorge Alfaro with seven home runs on the season with 191 batting average. Facing Diaz, 2-2 two -two is the count. Here comes the delivery. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That's out number two. Diaz with his second strike out of the inning. The next batter is going to be McCann with the Marlins down by two and down to their final out. Diaz working, one and two is the count. Here comes the pitch to McCann. And a swing and a miss to end the inning. So the Cubs are victorious, 4-2 here in the first game of the series against Miami. The Cubs getting four runs on six hits with two errors. Miami, two runs on six hits with no errors. We see that the Cubs' Tariq Skubal throws six innings of six-hit, two-run baseball. Only one was earned with six strikeouts. Ryan Presley earns the hold. And Edwin Diaz throws two scoreless innings in relief to earn his 24th save. Skubal improved to 7-5 and five on the season. Caleb Smith dropping to 4-6 and six through 4 and 2 thirds of 4-hit, four 4-run four baseball with 7 walks and 9 strikeouts. So the Cubs improved to 76 and 43 while the Marlins dropped to 44 and 73. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.